Sometimes this job makes me feel like a kid in a candy store. All of these AMGs here, I can pick any one I want and take it for a test drive. I thought about the C-Class, 507 horsepower. Nah. I thought about the E-Class with its all-wheel drive. Nah. I've got an idea. How could it be anything else other than the SLS GT? More horsepower, rear drive, and that's on this edition of Test Drive. Lift the SLS's long hood and there sits the reason for the GT's missile-like response to throttle input, a 6.2-litre V8 that pushes 583 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. Mash the gas pedal and the SLS takes off like a veritable road rocket. It runs to 100k in 3.7 seconds and turns the 80 to 120 trick in a scintillating 3 seconds flat. Now that is what you call a seriously fast car. It also has a top speed of no less than 320 kilometers an hour. Aside from this car's blinding speed and the manner in which it handles, what makes it a truly world-class supercar is the way it sounds. When you fire the engine to life, there's a delightful snapping snarl. Then you get on the gas and things just get even better. To use my favorite word, it is truly mellifluous. The power is relayed to the supersized 295-30R20 tyres through a 7-speed twin-clutch transmission. The beauty of the box is the speed of the shifts. It takes but 100 milliseconds to accomplish an upshift or a downshift. This and the fact the spacing between the gears keeps the engine at its roaring best until the driver is forced to lift more than helps the performance side. The ability to tailor the engine and transmission also helps matters enormously. When you get behind the wheel of this thing, it's just like being in mission control. Everything falls readily to hand. The paddle shifters right the way down to this row of buttons. This one changes how the engine and transmission interact. You've got controlled efficiency, which is good for fuel economy, right the way through sport, sport plus, manual, and then of course race start. Then you've got the traction control button. You can turn it off if you're really daft. Then you've got the shock absorbers, there's Sport and Sport Plus, so there's Firm and even firmer, and finally the AMG button. Now that thing allows you to tune the car to your likings, so when you go out and play, and it's time to have a bit of a thrash through a series of fast corners, push the AMG button, and life doesn't get any better. The SLS's extreme alacrity would not be worth a hill of beans were it not for its ability to carve a corner with precision. In a nutshell, the handling characteristics are as sweet as the powertrain. The adjustable design with Sport and Sport Plus modes banishes body roll without feeling stiff. Well, maybe a tad taut as the GT does earn stiffer springs and dampers. Throw in a perfectly weighted steering setup and the SLS GT goes exactly where it's pointed and it does so in a serious hurry. Mercifully, the 265-35R19 front tyres reduce understeer as the electronic nanny reigns in the oversteering tendency. A big part of the reason this car handles so well is its layout. You see, the engine sits behind the front axle, which actually means it's mid-mounted. Then when you go down to the back end here, you'll find the differential and transmission. As a result, you've got 43% of the weight over the front wheels, 57 over the back, which makes it just about perfect for a rear drive car. All of this only tells part of the story. You see, the SLS is equally at home prowling suburbia. Unlike so many supercars, which tend to feel temperamental when forced to jog along at city speeds, the SLS is vice-free and just as much fun as it is when I was hooning through the pylons. It really does deliver the best of two very nice worlds. You know, this thing isn't a perfect car. It's got next to no chunk space and getting in and out of it, well, there are easier things to do in life. However, when you are behind the wheel, none of that matters. This thing, it's like a road rocket and it really is very fast. It handles exceptionally well and that exhaust note, mellifluous.